ETSN, Dylan Druvengay, D-R-U-I-V-E-N-G-A. The role the USS Minnesota had during the Civil War was to be part of the blockade forces protecting the harbors and the channels in the Hampton Roads area. The USS Monitor protected the sailors from the USS Minnesota and with us being the part of the crew of the new Minnesota, it's shown respect. I feel honored to be part of the internment of the two sailors from the USS Monitor. Uh, I'm electronics technician, Master Chief Robert Beach, and I'm the assistant navigator on board the ship. Okay. Yeah, USS Minnesota was part of the uh, blockade for the ports here in Hampton Roads and the rivers. Okay. The USS Minnesota was uh, a ground here, so the monitor helped protect her from the uh, Confederate ship so she could get off the rocks. The USS Monitor for that battle there started, really started the battle of Hampton Roads in because she was helping protect the uh, Minnesota so that with the other Confederate ship, the, I think it was the CSS Merrimack, she, uh, they started the Battle of Hampton Roads. The USS Monitor was, like I said, helped protect the first USS Minnesota. So the connection there is that was the first ship. We were the third ship, the only Minnesota still left around. So that's the connection that we had with the Monitor. Oh, it's a great honor. It always is. Anytime we are able to go and honor fallen sailors, and especially when these two sailors here helped protect the USS Minnesota, the first one, and now we're part of the the third one, so being part of the crew of the Minnesota, it's a great honor to go up there and uh, be part of it. I think it's a great thing that the Navy, even though 150 years ago that the Navy is now getting these two guys and we're putting them in their final resting place and uh, showing the respect that they earned as fallen sailors. It's just a great honor to go up there and uh, be part of the internment for these two guys. My name is Michael Grilly. I'm a navigation ET on the USS Minnesota, and it's M-I-C-H-A-E-L-G-R-I-L-L-I. The USS Minnesota was performing a blockade to prevent the Confederate ships from entering the Hampton Roads Pier. The USS Minnesota had run aground, so the USS Monitor came in to protect her to save her from other Confederate ships. I think it's a very good honor to be able to honor our past sailors and be able to carry on the USS Minnesota name into the future Navy. I think that honoring our fallen sailors is one of the best things that the Navy can do and I think it's something that we should continue to do in the future.